Aloha, my name is Candacy. Welcome to my YouTube channel. I want to share a brief story with you today. I feel inspired to share it. Several years ago, my friend and I used to host different meetup groups, and so we would be contacted by people who wanted to meet us and wanted to know what the groups were about. And so we were contacted by this guy, we'll call him D. And Dee reached out to us. He said he wanted to meet with us for coffee and to learn more about what we do and uh, the meetup groups. So we met with Dee at a coffee shop and we were having a conversation with him. And then abruptly he looks over at me and he says, you're trying too hard. You are trying too hard. And I was like, what? <laughs> It completely caught me off guard. I had no idea what he was talking about. It seemed so random. I was just like, what? And he said, with manifesting, you're trying too hard with manifesting. You just need to stop trying so hard and just relax. And I was so caught off guard by his comments. <laughs> I was completely caught off guard. And in the moment, I was not able to receive the, the feedback that he had given me, particularly because I felt like this man doesn't know me at all. Like he doesn't know, he just met me. He just met me, what is he talking about? And so I kind of felt like, oh, he's in an arrogant state, you know, he doesn't, he doesn't know. And so <laughs> that was my response to this interaction many years ago. And so, then what is so fascinating is about a month after that, it occurred to me that I was trying too hard. I was making manifesting so complicated. I was making it so difficult. And I was also being very forceful with manifesting. I was being very forceful and even aggressive, if you will, with manifesting. Just really like, this This has to happen, you know, right now, it has to happen. Um, and I was very forceful with manifesting and really putting in a lot of effort to make things happen. And so it occurred to me about a month after this interaction with D that, whoa, he's right. I was trying too hard. I was. And I was really pushing things, right? Pushing them, pushing to make things happen instead of what manifesting actually is, which is it's surrendering. Manifesting is surrendering. We are surrendering to our ideal state. We are surrendering to the state of the wish fulfilled. So yes, of course, we actively select our ideal state. You know, we, we select what it is that we want and we identify our ideal state, but then we surrender to it. We surrender. And it's not about pushing to make something happen. It's not about being forceful and using our willpower to make something happen. It really is about identifying our ideal state and then shifting into it, shifting into it and surrendering to it. And then letting the state guide our actions, letting the, the state guide our responses and, and the way things unfold. And so it is about surrendering. And I just think this story is so funny because when he said that to me, that I was trying too hard, I completely rejected what he was saying, but he was absolutely right. He was picking up on the current state that I was in and he was seeing that I was absolutely being very forceful and trying to make things happen. And so I share this story with you today because if you find that things are not working or they don't seem to be working or you feel like, wow, this is so complicated, it's so complex, it's so difficult. If you're finding that, I want to invite you to notice if you're trying too hard, if you are putting in a lot of effort to make something happen as opposed to shifting, right? Shifting into the state where it is already done. So instead of putting in the effort to make something happen, to bring something into existence, instead of that, right, we are shifting into the state where it is already done where it is already so. 
So we're not making anything happen. We're not forcing anything into being. We are shifting and surrendering. And there is a law that, I, I always think it's funny, like the law of this, law of that, law of that. But there is a law called the law of reversed effort. And uh, this is the law that states that if we put in a lot of effort, we actually get the opposite result of what we want. So if we're really pushing and really putting in a lot of effort to make something happen, we actually get the opposite outcome. We get the opposite of what we want. And so with manifesting, it is not about putting in a lot of effort to make something happen. It is shifting into the state where it is already done. So just wanted to share that story with you. I will never forget D. I now have so much appreciation for him. And you know, a month after that interaction, I felt so much appreciation for him because he was spot on with his assessment of what was going on with me at the time. And so I just love, I love that he just said it. Now I can, you know, love it and appreciate it. But at the time in the moment, I was like, how dare he say that to me? <laughs> so with that being said, I also wanted to let you know, if you don't know already, that we are having a manifesting class tomorrow. Saturday, November 23rd at 5 a.m. Hawaii time. And so would love for you to join us. There are 130 people registered right now for the class tomorrow. We are going to really explore the law of assumption and how to intentionally use it. And we are going to look at uh, states of consciousness. We're going to talk about five different manifesting tools. And then there's a Q&A po &A portion as well where I will be answering questions. And so would love for you to join us. If it sounds like something you're interested in, please go ahead and click the link below. This class was designed to be very accessible for everyone. And so the class is $10 USD and it will be an hour and a half. It will be live. However, everyone who registers ahead of time will get the recording. So you get the recording. I'm also going to write all of the questions out. So all of the questions that have been submitted, I will write them out with a response and you'll be able to see that as well along with the recording of the class. So pure goodness, pure gold, and I'm so excited about this class tomorrow, and I'm feeling so inspired and cannot wait to connect with you tomorrow if you find that the class seems of interest to you. So again, to register for the class, the link is below. It is $10 USD. When you uh, register for the class, you will get an email immediately after registering, please check your junk mail folder for that because it may be, you may find that the email went to your junk mail. So please check that and see you tomorrow. If you like the video, please give me a thumbs up and then to get notified when new videos are released, please hit the bell icon. Subscribe and hit the bell icon and you'll be notified every time a new video is released. See you tomorrow in class. Aloha.